You disingenuous, dense motherfucker. Obviously, you'd have to know something about something, or else you wouldn't tie your shoes. So to all you disingenuous, dense motherfuckers out there, this one is for you. Why does it always look like I smell shit? Maybe it's because you are shit, silly boy. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I am a piece of shit. Damn, I just broke the fourth wall twice in a row. How do you like that? What is up, everybody? I am Kevin the Skull Anderson, and this is the season seven premiere of Talking to Myself News. Where I tell you how I'm doing, and you tell me what you think of how I'm doing. Yeah, it's pretty simple, isn't it? You know, I'm going to go on here and I'm going to ramble for about 30 minutes about how I'm never going to make it in this life just because of the fact that I don't have enough freaking money. But you already know that. So, for the next 30 minutes... You better have your ears open and your eyes peeled because I've got a lot of things to get off my chest. So in case you get to figure it out by now, I am still a failure at life. Even seven years later? Who fucking knows? I don't know anymore. The point I'm trying to make is... I'm a man who will never make it in this world simply because I don't have enough money. And the reason, the reason for that is actually pretty simple. First of all, I have next to no common sense whatsoever because whatever common sense I gain, sadly, I end up losing before long. Another thing about me, I'm absent-minded. I constantly overlook things. I'm terrible at finding things. I'm good at misplacing things, but I'm terrible at finding things. But somehow, last night, I was able to find a box that I had looked for three months before across a three-week period spanning 42 hours simply because I overlooked it the whole time prior to last night and I didn't even realize it until then. If that does not tell you about how I'll never make it in this world, I don't know what will. Of course, that's not to say that I feel sorry for myself. Hell no, I don't feel sorry for myself. Why should anyone allow me to feel sorry for myself and why should anyone feel sorry for me? I mean, I did it to myself after all. You know what I'm saying? Another reason why I'll never make it in this world. I have a short fuse now. Well, I mean, I've always had a short fuse, but especially here in the last few months. Because, you know, I don't, I don't know how I've made it this far. I really don't know how I've made it this far because I'm stubborn as hell. I'm too stuck in my old ways to care. I've gained weight, quite a bit of weight, as a matter of fact, and I've never felt happier. But at the same time, you know, I've done a lot of things that I'm not proud of, and I'm sure many of you people have too. So I'm sure that many of you are in the same boat as I am, and with pretty damn good reason. I got a runny nose today. Runny freaking nose. You know why? I ate two packs of oatmeal. I ate some yogurt. Had some coffee. Instant coffee. That's just about it so far. And I'm going to be taking my medicine quite shortly. But, before I do, I just want to say a few things. 
The fact that I've been able to make it this far proves that my stubbornness is just as good a strength as it is bad a weakness. And I've done a lot to get to where I am. I've put myself through a lot to get to where I am. And at some point, something's going to have to give because one day I'm going to be out there on my own fending for myself Knowing that everyone is going to take advantage of me every time I do something good. Which kind of figures itself out now, doesn't it? The reason why I won't make it in this world because of my money issues is because of the fact that I really am not that a considerate person. I'm really not that considerate a person. I'm really not. You know, I don't I don't think about other people. I don't think about myself sometimes. I think in the moment. I don't think long term. Mainly because long term in my eyes is too far away. And in my opinion, yesterday isn't coming back and tomorrow isn't coming at all. So since today is the only thing I have left, I figure why not make the most of today? Why not? Right? I've got nothing to lose and everything to gain by making the most of today. And sure, I'm about 30 pounds overweight, but I feel great. I'm not going to lie about it. I feel fan freaking tastic. But I'm going to have health issues down the line. I'm going to have certain ailments that plague me for the rest of my life. My mental health is one of them. My health, my mental health is going to fail me at some point. You know, there's that runny nose again. You know, I've done so many things in this life that I'm proud of. So many things in this life that I'm not proud of. Things that have happened on my watch that I'm not aware of. That happened. And yet... I have come to take responsibility for all that because I'm an actual human being and I'm not one of Congress's pawns in their little chess game because I give a damn, because I care. I'm not like all those other people out there who talk about my profits, man, my profits. I don't I don't talk about that. I'm not some stupid fucking idiot on a on a freaking keyboard trying to be a warrior typing <laughs> you know i'm not i'm not that stupid you know i'm not easily offended by everything like most people are you know i take a lot of things in stride i take a lot of things seriously too because Taking care of these animals, taking care of these animals is one of the most think is one of the most important things that I take seriously. Because taking care of these animals for me is a matter of life and death, and I think we all know that. Another reason why I won't make it in this world is because I'm insecure, I'm gullible, and quite frankly. I'm not nearly as good a walker as I am a talker. You know, I, I talk a big game. Let's get to my insecurities first. You know, I feel like some days I'm just a placeholder for somebody. And I'm worried that when that somebody comes back that I'm just going to be tossed to the side like the fucking garbage that I am. Not that that means anything, but you already know, don't you? You guys can relate, right? You feel that way too, don't you? About the government? Well, I, I don't feel that way about the government because the government never cared about me anyway. The government doesn't care about you either. They don't care about you, okay? But... <sighs> Some tells me I might have ate a bit too much because of my runny nose and whatnot. But... Yeah, there goes my nose confessing for me once again. Yeah, 
figures itself out. But anyway, back to my insecurities. I'm not necessarily the kind of guy that trusts myself around anyone that I don't know. Anyone that I've just met or anyone that I don't know. But I'm very sociable. I'll talk to people. I'll interact with them. I'll tell them about all the things I've worked on since the age of 20. Well, actually, hell, since the age of seven, basically, since that's when I started my life as a 21st century renaissance man, if you will. I'm trying to find the right phrases for it, but nothing came to me until a few seconds in. But I'm insecure because I don't really realize what value appreciation truly holds. I don't know what appreciation is. I never did. I never knew what appreciation was. And even if I knew what appreciation really was, I wouldn't be making a fool of myself. I wouldn't act out in public like I do every now and then. And I sure as hell would control myself a lot more. Because if I control myself a lot more, and I control what I eat, I'll lose a little weight. And if I lose a little weight, well that's good for me, because I'm 5'9 and a quarter. The average height for a per- the average weight for a person my height is about 170 pounds. I figure I lose about 25, 30 more pounds, I should be okay. Right? Right. Get to my next issue with myself. Let's get to the next issue about myself, okay? I'm gullible beyond repair. I'm too gullible for my own good. I'm too nice for my own good. I'm not assertive enough. And you know, that can be both a good and a bad thing. But mostly bad because... You know, I've allowed so many people to take advantage of me that I feel like just about anybody can take advantage of me if they wanted to. But, there are a few good people out there that I am friends with, that I am acquaintances with, that know me better than anybody else that would never take advantage of me, that would never steer me in the wrong direction, that would never lie to me. And so I trust these people. Because I've known them for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. There's just one problem though. The problem is me. Another reason why I won't make it in this world. I'm not good at following directions. I'm really not. Well, okay, that's a lie. I'm not as good at following directions as most people are. But I follow directions in my own way. I march to the beat of my own drum. That's just how I am. That's how I am, people, you know? I march to the beat of my own drum, and I do the best I can in whatever it is I do. Granted, it's not going to be perfect, because nothing I do is ever going to be perfect. Because perfection is something that only God can achieve. And if we're ever to achieve that, we can't achieve that through ourselves, but rather through Him. You know? Because that's the only way to achieve it. Realistically. Look guys, I'm a frustrated man. I'm pissed off. I'm angry. Because the government doesn't give two fucks about me. And you know... I'd love to think that the government isn't in it for themselves, but they are. They're in it for themselves. You get what I'm saying? But you already know that. The point I'm trying to make is simple. It's actually really simple. I'm just like all of you out there. I struggle. I have vices. I have quirks, just like any human being. And one of my flaws as a human being 
is exactly as I've said earlier in this episode. I'm too gullible for my own good. I'll fall for a lot of things. But I know when I'm getting screwed over. And when I get screwed over, I call people out on it. You get what I'm saying? But you people already know this. You people have been knowing this for years. And as funny as this sounds, you know, my other YouTube channel dating back to its original creation in 2013, I've seen a lot of things in this world and I've seen a lot of people in this world who have seen a lot of things in this world and they know things that I don't and so I look up to them. They tell me things that I need to know, not the things that I want to know. And it's so important that I need to know these things because if I don't know these things then I'll end up like an ignorant fuck who watches CNN and thinks that Don Lemon comparing Melania Trump to a grocery bag is okay, which it's not. Don Lemon is a dumb piece of shit, and we all know it. Here's the thing. I'm not very good at following directions because I march to the beat of my own drum, and I'm too stubborn and set my own ways. Because sometimes I have to ask if I'm doing the right thing. You know, when I ask if I'm doing the right thing, usually people will tell me either I'm doing it right or I'm doing it wrong. Then they'll tell me what I need to do next or what I should do or shouldn't do or whatever the hell's going on anymore because it's hard for me to keep track nowadays. But at the end of the day, it's like, well... I'm doing something right, but I'm doing something wrong too, so I need to figure out what I'm doing something wrong in order to do something right. Let's take this on the road. You see, I live, exactly as the sign says, I live because one day I know I'm going to die. It's inevitable. I'm going to die one day. My life will just end right then and there. I will be no more. But the thing is, and I say this lightly, excuse me, I live on the edge of a nervous breakdown every day because I know that at some point I'm going to snap. I'm going to snap Oh, and, and another reason why I won't make it in this world. A lot of what I say is politically in fucking correct. Because I'm actually a right side of history kind of person. Because I think realistically. Nobody thinks realistically anymore. That's why I'll never make it. Because if they because if I think realistically and what I say is right. People are going to get pissed off. But with what I say is a lie, people are going to get even more pissed off. So regardless of what I say, people are still going to get pissed off at me for saying it. But damn me if I'm not going to say I'm right for saying it. You know? I mean, freedom of speech is a lie. It really is. Because there's a price that comes with that freedom of speech. There's a price that comes with it. And we as human beings have got to be able to pay that price if we want to keep it. You know? That's freedom of speech. You have to accept the consequences that comes with it. Whatever those consequences are. And some can be good and some can be bad. But, I mean, good lord, man. You got all these things going on in this world that nobody knows about, that nobody pays attention to, that no one bats an eye towards, that no one cares about, and yet you've got someone like me trying to do the right thing, trying to survive like any human being would, and I get shit on for it. I get shit on for it. 
so it figures itself out regardless. And as I pace around, I'm actually doing myself a favor and calming myself down. And by talking to myself, I'm actually calming myself down. Because you know I talk to myself a lot. So talking to myself is therapy for me. It may be an annoyance or a nuisance to some, but it's therapy to me. Because I like to entertain myself. I like to entertain myself because it's what I do. And because I like to entertain myself, I tend to carry on conversations with myself by talking and answering to myself. And because of that, people want to say, oh, this guy's insane. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm just like everybody else. Anyone, in my opinion, that doesn't claim to talk to themselves is lying because everybody does it everybody talks to themselves it's guaranteed at some point a human being is going to talk to themselves it doesn't matter how or why or when or where or under what circumstance it's going to happen I'm probably talking to myself now as I speak but who the hell knows anymore I mean, there's just no telling. You know, I really enjoyed this with you guys. I enjoyed talking to you guys about my struggle as a human being. And thank God that there's a God up there that understands me. Because if he didn't understand me, I wouldn't be here on this planet. And I know that he understands me. You know why I know he understands me? Because he sent his son on a cross to die for us so that we would have a heaven to go to when we died. So that our place in heaven would be permanent and guaranteed. All we got to do is get right with him and do the work that we need to do in order to better understand that our place in heaven is guaranteed and it's being built for us right now. But that's just me being philosophical. If you want me to be realistic, you know, we're not going to make it in this freaking world. We're not. There's no way in hell. And I sure as hell can't survive on my own because I don't have the fucking money for it. If I had the fucking money for it, I'd be able to have a shot. But because I don't have the fucking money, I'll never fucking make it in this world because it costs too damn much. And it pisses me off. And then the government wonders why we're so against them. Why we disapprove of them. That's part of the reason why. I'm Kevin Skull Anderson. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Talking to Myself News. I look forward to talking to myself again soon, and hopefully to all of you. Stay tuned. There's going to be more coming. And, oh, by the way, for the record, before I close this episode, I don't upload on a regular schedule. So, to all of you who say, when's the next episode coming out? It'll come. Just wait for it. It doesn't matter how long it takes, just wait for it. Because at some point, it's going to drop. When it drops, I'll be right there with you watching it. Okay? See you next time. <laughs>